We're joined here by Ryan Kowalski, winner of the sixth CDJ Mid Amateur Championship here at Lakeshore Country Club. Uh, after defeating David Keenan three and two, Ryan, just give us your thoughts coming off the win here. Yeah, it was a great match this morning. David and I really went back and forth. Um, I mean, it was it was close the entire way, and it was lucky to get out to a quick lead and then kind of maintain that the entire way. But both, I mean, he pushed me to hit a really a lot of great shots, and then I think vice versa. So it was it was great overall. So you come in on nine, you're, uh, you're one up, you make the turn at one up, uh, a one up lead, uh, and then you win uh, 10 and 11. Um, obviously, we were out there, it got a bit dicey with the rain and, and the wind, as, as we talked about the conditions here kind of picked up. Just talk about how important those two wins were amidst that kind of change in the weather. Yeah, it was huge. It definitely got a little bit crazy out there with, with, uh, with all the wind and the rain, but I'd say hit a couple good shots in there on both 10 and, in, and on 11. David did get in trouble on both those holes and to be able to capitalize and hit some good shots in there really, I think, helped sway the match. Um, after we both broke, came off birding nine, so then it was kind of basically neck and neck and then 10 and 11 helped me uh, maintain a little bit of a lead and then hold that off for the rest of the time. We've been here for three days now. Today's weather is definitely different than the first two days. Just talk about how you kind of change your playing style amidst the wind, the rain, the conditions. Yeah, when it came to the playing style, it really didn't change anything, to be honest. It was just the wind was coming out of a completely different direction today, plus the rain. So the course was a lot softer than it was the first three days. Um, but overall, the strategy never really changed. It was, you had, you're able to hit driver basically everywhere, so just kind of bomb it down there and be able to hit, hit some shorter irons into the greens. David comes back on the par 5, 13th, and gets a birdie there to kind of take a two-down deficit at that point. Any change in the thought process there or are you used to kind of full pedal in the middle yeah no we, that was an incredible birdie I mean it was in the middle of a monsoon we had all the rain gear on it was uh, that was an, an incredible birdie from David but I mean no it was a good it was a great birdie by him and then it was the really mindset didn't change all too much it was just keep hitting good shots you know you do have a lead so um, just keep your foot down and just keep moving forward we discussed off camera how you kind of were a late addition to this championship this being your first kind of foray into uh, CDGA championships this year but um, playing in a qualifier that was added late you're on the wait list talk about that to here now being the champion and kind of what that says about your game yeah I mean it was it's pretty amazing when you look at it. when I was looking to sign up everything was booked and I was lucky to be able to get into the Palatine Hills one um, and just and just from there to be able to come here it's kind of uh, it's, it, it's a little bit um, like amazing especially since it's my first CDJ event um, didn't really know what to expect. I know I was feeling good coming into this, um, having practiced a lot over the winter, so I knew I had a, a good game coming into it, but to be able to see the results was, was huge for me.